I've made this link tree so it's easier for you guys to get into contact with me. If you want to find out more about the course, it's over on my Buy Me A Beer. If you want to simply get into contact with me, it's over on my crypto Twitter or my crypto Instagram. It's Louis here. I hope you're all well. We're looking at Bitcoin today. We cover these cryptos every single weekday. So make sure you do subscribe, like, comment and share these videos for the algorithm. Now, when we look at Bitcoin in yesterday's update, we're talking about how it had broken out. But I was led to believe that this could be a fake out. And with that daily candle close, it ended up closing back underneath this key resistance, 28,500. We were saying we would need a close above 29K. We were above 29K. But yeah, something just yesterday was telling me I think we are going to uh, do a bull trap. Just a few days before, we had a bear trap where we did break down and then we actually reversed. And then the same thing has happened here. We got back to the resistance, broke through it, but then reversed. So are we still within this uh, rising wedge technical target? Well, yes, since breaking out, we should be returning to 24.5K. However, as I've mentioned multiple times on the channel, uh, I was using the fibs from here to there and we can see that we did start retracing to the 382 fib but didn't come lower to the golden pocket between the 0.5 and the 618. So it looks like the 20 is setting up again at the 382 so could it be that we're just coming back down to kiss it for another a go at breaking above 28,500. Again we need daily candle closes above that and without this is no clear bullish breakout, understand that. So yesterday was a bull trap to trick you into thinking this is going up. For the moment, of course, today we can break out. I just need to see a daily candle close above 28,500, as well as a break above that wick now, 29,200. So closes above these two levels. I know it's an area, so closes above this area would signal continuation. Otherwise, at the moment, it's an area of supply. So this is why we're just struggling to, to break through and we are coming back down to key levels of demand where the 20 EMA is sitting at. So we're trapped between these two levels, 27K, let's say. Uh, well, let me actually just triple check. The 20 EMA here is sitting at 26,700. So yeah, that's your level. And then our top over here, as I've just mentioned before. So we just need to sit and wait, essentially. Let's go over to the four hour time frame to look at this a little bit clearer, see if there's anything printing. We're still holding the 55 here. A loss of the 55 would mean returning back to this demand zone. And if that were to fail, we do have the 200 EMA here on the four hour time frame, sitting very nicely on our golden pocket. So if everything went wrong and we were to lose this, remember, please do remember, ever since breaking out of this, the target is down here. But I was mentioning over the last week that this golden pocket may stop you from ever reaching that level. It's also a previous swing high over here. So when you make a new one, as we did, you, you, when you come down this swing high if you do return to here should hold a support now if it's lost you return to the swing low that is the actual target out of the rising wedge anyway because anything that's a uh, upward sloping it breaks downwards basically and at the moment we can see two key rejections one being here after the breakout exactly on the trend line rejecting it as resistance and another one here so could we be seeing a double top in the exact same location so of course, where would be our, our neckline would be over here and uh, a target, I'll just get the target for you guys. If 26,900 is lost, you'd have a technical target actually all the way back down to the 786 fib. So yeah, just more confluence telling us, uh, guys, we should be meeting this target, but we can invalidate all of these bearish targets. How? simply just by breaking above 28,500 to 29,000. However, that must be with a daily candle close, not the four hour, not the one hour, not the 15 minute, not the eight hour. It has to be the daily candle close. So other than that, there's not much to say. Um, that's pretty much it for today's update. Please do like, subscribe and comment. What I can do maybe just measure from here to there, sitting at this golden pocket. So this is why maybe today, as we saw in the four hour time frame, we are holding those key moving averages. This will give us a, an attempt to pump back up and reclaim the 20 for the continuation. This is what we'd like to see for the bulls out there to continue to our higher targets, which is 30 that or 29.5 to uh, 32 to 40K. Thank you guys so much. This is the end now. <laughs> like, subscribe and comment. If you want to take action on my course, it's currently discounted to 90 pounds 
all the way until the end of the first week of April. You can take action on my Twitter and that's all linked underneath this video in the description and comment section below. You'll find my link tree. You can have, uh, either go to in my Instagram or Twitter to message me. You can actually find more information through the buy me a beer link as well. Cheers guys. There's a link tree in the comment section or the description down below or even in the top right corner. You can just click it over here somewhere and you can take it to my crypto Twitter, Instagram, where you can private message me. If you want to actually just take action on the course or the mentorship without talking to me, head over to my buy me a bit. Now I'll bring up a page looking like this. You can even get one single mentorship session anyway, but all the details that you need here, you get 10 sessions and here you get 30 plus videos, six hour course. And yeah, all the information you need is over here.